Friendship is really important, particularly during a global pandemic. The type of friends you pick, the type of friends who pick you can be the difference between weathering the storm well or ending up rocking back and forth, crying into your cat. Isn't it amazing how many tears a cat can absorb? I was surprised. You know who your good friends are. The list is really easy to follow. Your friends are there when it's good. Your friends are there when it's bad. Your friends are good at listening. Your friends don't care whether you're skin or rich. And your friend loves you no matter what. Unless you turn out to be a nonce or a thief or something and then obviously delete. So what about the two major types of friend to avoid? First of all, the most common type, the fair weather friend. If you don't know what a fair weather friend is, let me point it out for you. It's the fake ass bellend who's only there when things are going well. If you suddenly come into money, that friend is gonna stick to you like a face mask to Matt Hancock. Hey man, I'm just so happy it's going well for you. What are we doing at the weekend? Should we go out clubbing? Oh my God, you and your wife look so happy. I'll bring my wife along. It's just so nice to buzz off your vibe, man. Look at your new car, man. Can I come around and drive in it, man? They're always there, but I dare you to split up. Find a lump on your bollock. Find a lump on your boob. Find yourself skint and the fair weather friends will disappear so fast they will leave back to the future fire tracks outside your freaking house. Marty, you fake ass motherfucker. Get back to the future. But now let's talk about a type of friend you may have missed. Because everyone knows about fair weather friends. People that are only there when it's going good and then vanish when there's challenges. But there's a much more insidious type of friend. The bad weather friend. Bad weather friends are only there when it's going shite. They like to feed off your misfortune like a dementor. All right, Darren, I haven't seen you for years. I heard you split up with your wife. <coughs> Do you know why someone like Darren is a bad weather friend? Because he himself is so freaking miserable. He's been locked in his house, masturbating into a biryani carton ever since his wife Helen left him. Please, Helen. Come back to me. As soon as it's going pants for you, these bad weather friends like to pop over and top up their own, just so they feel less shit about their shit. Hi babes, it's Lana. I hear you split up with your boyfriend and your skin. Shall I come over and we can just, I'll just come over and we can do Mandy. Maybe we can go to Ibiza together and both get an STD. We're in this together. Don't listen to Lana. She's already got chlamydia. Beware the bad weather friend. Seriously, I hope you're as lucky as me and surrounded by great friends. We're gonna come out the other side of COVID-19. Just don't surround yourself with fake ass kryptonite bell end motherfuckers. Have a good day. Thank you for getting to the end of my latest video. And to reward you, we're gonna play the face mask mood quiz. You have to guess what mood I'm in using just my eyes right now. Had a guess? Now, how can I do the reveal legally? You're only allowed to take your mask down when you're drinking, so I'll have a sip of tea as I reveal the mood. Ready? Pervy was the answer. Legal, mask back on. Okay, next one. What mood is this? Smiling after having filler was the answer. Sip of tea to keep it legal. And the last mood. This is a real, real one. What's this? Yep, you're right, it's ejaculating. And that last one, that last one was, that last one's, ah, uh, did that one for real for you there? 